Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. In the next few minutes, we're going to discover how to import photos from our camera card into Lightroom Classic. Now, in order for Lightroom Classic to work with our photographs, we need to import or make Lightroom Classic aware of the photos that we want to work with. Because Lightroom is running, as soon as I put the card into my computer, the import dialog will automatically appear. I'll go ahead and cancel out of this for a moment because I want to show you that if you put the card in the computer first, and then you launch Lightroom Classic, then you'll want to choose File, Import Photos and Video, or click on the Import button to access the Import dialog. All right, on the left side of the Import window, we can select the source to import from. Here, I'll select the card. Across the top, I'll choose to copy the files to a new location. And in the center, we can see the thumbnails of our images. To see one larger, we can double click on it to go to Loop View. We can click to zoom in and then use the hand tool to move around. Or we can use the icons at the bottom of the preview area to go to loop and grid view. We can also choose what images to import so that if I only wanted to import a subset of images, I could choose uncheck all and then select the first one, then shift click to select this range of images and then click on the empty well. But in this case, I want to select them all, so I'll choose Check All. We can also change the way that the images are sorted, and we can change the thumbnail size. In the lower left, we can see the number of photos as well as the file size of the import. Now on the right, there are a number of additional panels. Under File Handling, we can choose what size previews we want to build. We can choose minimal previews for the fastest preview in the grid view after we import them, or we can choose standard for a little bit larger of a preview, which we can view full screen. Now, if we want to, we can also choose one-to-one. -one. For example, if you know that you're going to want to zoom in to all of your images to compare them and maybe check focus, Choosing one-to-one -one is going to take a little bit longer to render, but that might be okay if you want to say, take a little break while they're rendering and then go in and edit them quickly because you won't have a delay as you move from one image to the next if you've already built these one-to-one -one previews. I'm gonna leave Build Smart Previews disabled for now because Lightroom Classic will build smart previews as they're needed. We may want to enable don't import suspected duplicates so that we don't import the same files more than once. And if I wanted to make a second copy of the images, I could enable make a second copy to and then choose a destination, but I'll leave that off for now. I can also add images to a collection, which we'll discuss when we cover collections later in this series. Under file naming, we can choose to rename the files on import by selecting one of the templates or presets or we could choose edit and make our own, but for now, I'm not gonna to choose to rename the files on import, and instead, I'm going to cover file renaming in a separate video, which will cover several different ideas for renaming files for different scenarios. Under apply during import, we can add develop settings, such as presets that ship with Lightroom Classic. Presets would just change the way your image looks, like it might convert it to black and white. Presets are all non-destructive, but unless you want all of the images to have the same preset applied, I would go ahead and hold off on this and we can do it later in our workflow. I would suggest that you add metadata like copyright and contact information. So I'll choose new and then scroll down and I'm going to add my information in the IPTC copyright and creator fields. I would recommend that you add your copyright, you can mark the images as copyrighted, and you can enter the copyright info for the URL. Then enter in any creator information that you want to include as part of the photograph. There are many additional fields that you can fill in, so be sure to take the time to check out the different categories. Just remember that the metadata in this template that we're creating and that we're adding on import will be added to all of your images. So you might not want to enter information that's only applicable to a subset of the images that you're importing. Then we can save the current settings as a new preset, and we'll give this preset a name. And once I've created this preset, I can use it every time that I want to apply this information to my photos on import. We could add keywords as well. Just make sure they apply, again, to all of the images that you're importing. 
All right, let's navigate to the destination where we want to copy these files. We can use the arrow at the top as a shortcut to the desktop. And we can see that I have a folder called Image Vault. I'm going to select that folder and then check into subfolder and name the folder Bears. And I'll organize into one folder instead of by date. Now, if you have an external drive that you're storing your files on instead of the internal drive, as we are in this example, Lightroom Classic will display a header for the hard drives that are attached so that you can select and then import your files to those external drives. All right, let's go ahead and import the files. We can see a progress bar that shows that Lightroom Classic is importing the files and we can watch it as it comes into the catalog panel as our current import. Now, if we had more images already in this catalog, we could choose to view all photographs and that would show us all of the images that Lightroom Classic is aware of. You might notice a slight shift in colors as Lightroom Classic builds the preview. And this is because when you capture a raw file or in the raw file format, the camera software creates a preview of the image based on the settings in the camera and it embeds that preview into the file. So to display your images as quickly as possible, Lightroom Classic first displays that embedded preview that was created by the camera. Then Lightroom Classic creates a high quality color managed preview of the file using the Adobe Color Profile, which often slightly changes the appearance of the thumbnail. If you prefer the initial rendering, the one that's done by the camera, you can apply a different profile to your raw files on import or as a preset or to individual files, all of which will be covered later in this series. For now, let's go ahead and look at the folder panel. So here is the folder of images, but where are these photos? Well, they were copied to the destination that we chose in the import dialog. So to confirm this, I'm just going to select an image and then choose Photo, Show in Finder, or on Windows, it would be Show in Explorer. And we can see that indeed, we've got the Image Vault folder and inside of that is our new Bears folder. Excellent, so that's how we import files from a camera card into Lightroom Classic. I'm Julianne Cost, thanks for watching.